Um, I wouldn't call it trouble. I mean, games boils down to wins and losses, not trouble. It's all competition. They're a good team, so you got to give them credit. Kyrie, it seemed like every time you guys got within striking distance, you know, two possession game or less, you know, they would they would go on a run and ramp it up a bit. Just what made it so tough to kind of close that gap tonight? They're a good team. Kyrie, Jalen Brown has been very supportive of you over the last couple of weeks. What's your relationship like with him? And what do you, how have the conversations been with him over the last couple of months? Uh, he's a brother of mine. Um, grateful that we have built a relationship off the court. Um, you know, true warriors when we go against each other. Uh, when I was in Boston, we didn't really get a chance to get to know each other on a deeper level. Um, so, again, I'm, I'm just grateful that we've been able to build on on top of a great foundation of um, aligning on, um, you know, just how we live our lives and how we treat people. So it's been good. It's a brother of mine. Kyrie, you guys had that hot start offensively, you included, and then it seemed like it was tough to get into a rhythm after that. Just how much of that was their defense versus, you know, some self-inflicted wounds and so on? I mean, they're a good team. I don't keep saying it. They're, they're a good team. And, um, you know, when you're making uh, costly mistakes, especially down the stretch, it's, it's going to uh, affect you. It's going to have an impact on the game, the flow. Um, you know, I feel like we did a great job on, um, you know, JT for the most part. Um, you know, they're starters. And then, you know, they have some guys coming in that make some good plays. They, I think they played, uh, they played 11 guys tonight. So they showed us different looks. And those uh, guys came in and they made an impact on the game. So you got to give them credit. They're a good team. Understanding that, uh, you know, they're missing a couple devastatingly good defensive players already with Robert and with Marcus. Just how have they defended you and Kevin differently, I guess, in this game than maybe they did in the playoffs? Um, it's the same def defensive principles I see. Um, they sell out on our drives and make us pass. So crowd in the paint. 